Hello everyone. Today we want to speak about curves. The curve component is located in Parham's tab and in the part of geometry. We can insert the curve uh, by right clicking on it and set one curve. And now we want to see what uh, options it has. The first thing is that we can rebuild the curve. What rebuild is, is like what we have in Rhino. If we select the curve and try to rebuild, it will uh, display our points and um, put them some kind of order that uh, all of the points are located in a special distance from each other. And we can select if we want to uh, have the degree of our curve on 1 which makes a polyline or we want to set it on 2 that makes a curve and we can set uh, the number of our points like maybe make it on 8 and as you see our curve now has its points more consistently distributed. We can also do the same inside our grasshopper by typing rebuild and also we can uh, have it on our curve and the utility tab is here, rebuild curve. Then we can connect our curve into its uh, first input then it uh, asks for the degree. Let's select it on one and as uh, you can see now it became a polyline we can also change it to let's say 2 or 3 and as you see we have different options but uh, 2 is usually used also we can have many points we want uh, our new curve to have now it's set uh, on 10 but we can put it on 5 to see the overall form of the curve is changed and as we um, increase the numbers we see that uh, our new curve is more similar to our first uh, drawn curve Let's also hide our curve on our rhino and have it just in our grasshopper. We can select a point on our curve using three ways. The first one is using um, midpoint or curve middle, which gives us the middle point of our curve and it works based on the length the other thing is using point on curve which we can find it in analysis part and it's also default on default set on um, 0 0.5 which means the middle of the uh, curve and also we can set different parts the other thing we can use is evaluate curve. By using evaluate curve component, we can have our curve connected to the curve input and using a T, which is a parameter that um, shows the place of our curve, we can have uh, our point. The important thing about evaluate curve is that it needs our curve to be uh, to have a domain from 0 to 1 as you see in here our curve now um, has a length we can use a curve length to measure the length of our curve and it has a 27.05 length for our evaluate curve we need this curve to be reparameterized what does it mean? if we right click on it and select reparameterize it makes the boundary of our curve from 0 to 1 
I use um, deconstruct domain which we will speak about but uh, I'm just showing you that the domain of this reparameterized curve is from 0 to 1 okay so now this reparameterized curve can be uh, connected to our curve input and now using the t value that should be between 0 to 1 we can have uh, our evaluated point on it okay the important thing is that the evaluate curve and a midpoint or point on curve does not make exact same uh, point for putting it, if we put it on uh, 0.5 and the reason is that the evaluate curve works based on the curve control points and so uh, it depends on where the concentration of the points are but this component which is point on curve just makes the mid length of the curve so they are different if you want to have the mid length of your curve you should just use this one now let's continue with evaluate curve and see what this component uh, provides for us the output of this uh, component is a point that uh, has this t value also it gives us a tangent tangent is a tangent vector on this curve starting from this point uh, we can show it using the vector display and as you see this vector and uh, this uh, connects to the vector which is this tangent is a vector and this point shows that uh, this vector is started from for making this vector more visible we can just um, amplify its length by um, using a multiplication which is uh, in mass part and just multiple to a digit like and then connect the output to our vector now as you see our vector is more visible the other way to show our uh, vector is using this, co uh, this component vector display EX which has more options for us this is the length of our curve which we connect to the vector the point that uh, our uh, vector starts from also its color we can set a swatch color swatch and set its uh, color also we can set the width of our vector and make it more visible So as you see this is the tangent uh, vector on our uh, curve starting from this point and this shows that uh, our uh, curve has an order from this point to this point so this is the start point and this is the end point which we can also show them using the component end points which is located in curve and uh, the analysis part so this is our start point and this is our end point but how can we change uh, the flow of our curve starting from this point and connecting coming to this part and if uh, the curve and uh, the curve flow changes from uh, this point our tangent will not be uh, a vector in this uh, direction 
What do I mean by this? Uh, there is a component means, uh, named uh, flip chair, which uh, you can again find it in the care part and in the utilities. Flip chair. And if you uh, connect this curve into it, by default, it just changes the direction of this uh, curve. Uh, sorry, I should uh, set it from this rebuilded curve to have it the same. And um, now, if I do the same thing for uh, this flipped curve that has a, the different direction, and then just connect this one. To my rest part you see that the direction of the tangent will also change now let's consider it for some place that is uh, more visible i just group this part and i want to continue with some other curves and i mm, draw them with different directions when I start my curve from this part, the direction is uh, to the right and when it's on the other side, the direction is from uh, is to the left. Let's have different of these curves. Okay. Now, if I just uh, copy it and set all these curves into it, you can see that they have different directions. Now, I want to set the direction of all these curves to match with this first curve. And how can I do it? It's by using the flip curve component that I have it in here and just connect this first curve, this first uh, flipped curve that I have in here and use it as my guide curve. This, if you uh, zoom it a bit, you can see it's, uh, it's written guide, which means it guides the other curves to be flipped based on that. So all the curves now have the same direction. And if we use another curve, let's say I want to have this new curve inside, and I insert it into my grasshopper screen, and I use this new curve as my guide curve, and now all the curves obey the direction of this new curve. This brings us to the end of this lesson.